welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to make a simple example of sheet metal here we will learn how to use sheet metal command and uh, forming tools and create this kind of shape in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal uh, we will see how to use these forming tools with the help of design library and we will apply some tools here so let's see how to make this one now let me open here file new and select your part okay now we are in the SOLIDWORKS interface plain white now here again we are going to take a simple example and which is going to uh, shown with the help of sheet metal and forming tools and we will use some forming tools library so let's start we will start with front plane a sketch I'll choose your line and I'll draw a simple geometry which is going to create with the help of sheet metal tool see this is a kind of geometry if you don't have sheet metal option here you can directly click right click and choose sheet metal now let me define this this is random dimension nothing important just a simple example how to use the tools and everything 40 23 and uh, this length 25 and this also 25 millimeter and let's make the angle 135 degree oh, looks that's perfect you can exit and go to sheet metal and choose your base flange see here we will define the thickness or width 60 millimeter that's it and the thickness is going downward uh, direction 2 we don't need thickness 2 millimeter radius 4 millimeter but thickness we can take it upward okay k factor we can keep as it is 0.5 that is a standard now see a she sheet metal parts we created even you can check select flatten and you can check it like this this is the development length you can directly if you want to see development length right click choose here evaluate once you come here choose measure and you can select this length see this is the length 168.28 okay unflatten now let's try some tools here if you want to we will see how to use fold unfold command so we will choose for unfold and we want to bend only these two so first we have to choose fix of surface this is our fixed surface bend to unfold I'll choose this one bending and second bending whatever number of bending you want to open just click on that so here we will choose only one so click ok now see it is open now select this face sketch normal and we want to trim something so choose here corner rectangle from here to this line A smart dimension 70 millimeter and the thickness 12 millimeter okay go to sheet metal and here choose extruded cut even you can choose throughout or here you can select link to thickness so that it will cut only up to thickness ok look corners corner stream so now we want to make here radius so here we have option chamfer and cor fill fillet so I will choose here radius 4 millimeter ok now let me unfold uh, sorry fold this fold command here face selected fix face bends to fold so one and this two this two bends we selected okay now see it's folded or bent now uh, let's use some forming design library forming tools and we will drop some tools here so we will see here lenses 
and see th this is there are multiple type of lenses so we will apply one type of lens here lens and form select this face it's going downward direction so flip now it's come upward direction now here we will change angle 90 it's going back side so we will choose 270 degree now see this step should come forward here now let me choose this view position now here we need to we can define this one this is moving so you just remember this center point this is important A smart dimension Eighteen point five millimeter. That's it. See, it is moved. Now let me choose here isometric view, and we can see here. Let's make little backside fifteen millimeter. That's fine. It looks fine. Okay now select here ok even though we can move little here no problem 20 that's fine now once you select ok you will see how we created a lenses from bottom see so this kind of lenses we are going to create with the help of forming tools in press machine now uh, let's make some lenses here so choose this face normal and apply this bridge lens here go to position and select one more so that two will comes a smart dimension let's define the distance 36 millimeter twelve millimeter and this distance from this side 18.5 millimeter this makes center for this let me try this things work for center already this is in center position so uh, let's make one these two points horizontal now this drawing is fully defined even if you saw isometric view this bridge lens is going downward so just go to type flip now see it comes upward direction we want to see in upward direction okay oh look if you want to make a hole you can make in that condition also a sketch normal so let's make some holes let's say oblong we selected center rectangle okay let's settle this one hold full rectangle and choose here make equal that's fine 9 millimeter millimeter that's it and distance from here to this end keep 12 millimeter and uh, we will choose one more 10 millimeter the same distance we will select from here 10 millimeter okay and the last point select center points make relation vertical see the drawing is fully defined that's it now here let's if you want to add some holes you can add it here see this is simple to add hole here now select this all holes equal now let's make some relation so that it will be easy for us vertical this two horizontal now this two holes vertical the same way this two holes horizontal oh 
just undo we selected three now let's define any one five millimeter okay now this angle 22 millimeter 24 millimeter and this one we choose 35 millimeter Twenty five millimeter. That's it. So this is how we can directly cut a hole from anywhere. Extruded cut, and simply choose here through all. See, it's going to cut up to the end. Okay. See, so this is how we created a simple sheet metal part, and we will see how to use. SolidWorks forming tool and create any kind of forming th geometry. Let me change edit appearance. Others uh, look fine. If you want to choose flatten, you can choose flatten. See, this is embossing tool, so it is not going to be flatten. Now, if you want to save this one in 2D form, right click, export to DXF, select here, save choose your sheet metal okay now once you click okay it will save this drawing in 2d form you will see here and that 2d drawings you can open in anywhere like uh, AutoCAD and uh, inventor or any other see this is 2d drawing so simply save it that's it unfold so this is the simple example of sheet metal where we learned some basic commands of sheet metal and forming tools i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching